So this is my reaction to a DIYer that is installing some wafer lights in his hallway. And I just want to point out a few things he could have done a little easier and then a few things that may not be up to code. So first thing, he's got the lights removed and marking them out. He could have just marked, started the circle at where the truss is. That way he wouldn't have had to cut where the truss is. So it would have went bigger around the edge of the box and not where the truss is. Just a little pro tip, I guess. Now he's got the holes cut, headed up to the attic. As you'll see, he's got J-boxes. I love that because the box fill would be too much in that LED wafer J-box. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind when you're installing J-boxes is they do need to be accessible if they are in the attic. And technically, since that J-box is not a part of that light fixture, it does need to be up and accessible and visible in the attic. So this is actually not okay to do. He's got his wires stripped out, cutting. Another thing you want to make sure of is make sure that you have six inches from measured from the back of the box worth of wire. This is so that you can make changes. It's easy to deal with. Same thing here. That needs to be six inches of wire. Now, another thing you'll notice coming up here is he uses these pushing connectors. I am not a fan of those. Those are not Wagos, contrary to popular belief. Those are just regular push-ins. I do not recommend these. They have a lot of issues. I would recommend either wire nuts or Wagos, whichever you can manage. The tape is not necessary. As long as all the wires are inside that connector, it's not necessary at all to tape it. Now he's screwing the box in, which I do recommend. There again, that should have been up and accessible out of the insulation. He's got his wire stapled in. And overall, I'd say for a DIYer, he did a very good job. Um, if it was a professional, not so much. But honestly, for a DIYer, I'd say great job.